Right, hello guys and welcome to today's video and as you can guess by today's title and thumbnail today's video is going to be kind of a stat check as we've just passed level 500 and not only that I will be giving you guys all my class subs in one video for you to go to to check out you know just to see it all so there will be no gameplay in this game in, in today's video but you will get to see all my best class subs and try them out for yourselves okay. I've done videos with most of these class ups, you'll probably see most of them have been used on my channel. Some of the class ups have changed a little, but mostly they are probably going to stay the same. But if you want to have a video to just come back and see, hey, what class ups are good, what aren't good, this is the video for you, okay? So we'll do a quick thing, which is the stat check. What do we got? 12 days played, few wins, few losses, we've got a 5.3 EKA ratio, pretty insane stuff, 33 highest kill streak, some insane stats, also medals that I find pretty cool. We got nine nuclears in this game, my most nuclears in any game. I know it's only nine, but it's pretty insane, not gonna lie. We choked a few nuclears as well, as you can tell by the brewers, and we've got a few little kill chains and mega kills. Not too bad for someone who plays just only TDM, really. But yeah, check out the leaderboards as well for the game modes of predominantly play, which are TDM, as you can see. Pretty insane stuff, pretty insane stats. Uh, what else do I play? Heist, played Heist quite a lot, and Search and Destroy. And those are predominantly the well and domination actually and domination those are the only game modes i've really ever played because to be honest most of the other game modes don't interest me that much i don't play very well in this game but enough of that you guys are probably more interested in the fact that today's video is more going to be my best class subs in black ops 4 video so here we are let's start with the first class the laser beam you've seen me do videos with this all the time i've probably done four or five videos throughout the duration of black ops 4. But this is the laser beam the icr the double grip quick draw reflex basically all that's important in the class, on this class is the double grip so you're going to see as well the pattern i'm not even going to talk about the gear and perks because you're going to see on all my class subs is all the same perks and all the same gear because that's just how i find my best up some might be different i'm not sure i can't remember what class ups i've got currently on here but yeah the icr class if you want to get you know easy kills at long range this is the class for you next up my favorite class in the game the maddox the smg ar hybrid with the broken quick draw 2, with the crazy, you know, if you've watched my videos, you see that I do the in and out ADS thing. Makes you strafe speed higher. Insane class setup. Everyone pretty much runs this class setup, so I'm not even going to talk about this one too much. Next up, we got the Sorg. The quick draw grip stock. I did change this a little bit. I did do a video saying that quick draw fast mag stock is pretty good, which it still is, so you could use that. But I do use quick draw grip and stock now. I also recently got this, the uh, Master Caravan, which is actually pretty cool. Not that anyone really cares, to be honest, because again, this game this game is pretty much over with. But, again, if you are looking for good class setups, these, this is what I'm trying to showcase to you now, is all my best class setups. So, there's the Sorg. Love that SMG, to be honest, it's quite fun to use. Next up, the Rampart. I'm going to be honest, I don't actually use this, this very often anymore. I don't know why. I just don't think it suits my playstyle. I don't think it's very fun to use. But, it's there if you want to try it. High Cal 1, High Cal 2, and Long Barrel, pretty much. Just run High Cal, and then... Whatever else you want. I just prefer the long barrel to make the range a bit further. Got a garrison. Don't know why that's not the variant. Let's put that now to the mast craft. And yeah, let's move on. KN57. This is a top tier weapon. M one of my favorite class setups in the game. Elo, quick draw, rapid fire stock. Absolute insane class setup. Kind of use this if I want to like get back at someone. If I'm if my shot's not going too well with the Maddox, because the Maddox that you do, you kind of do have to be on top of your game to use it because of the recoil and the management, it's not as good at the range as the KN57, but if you want a gun that just does it all, KN57 is your gun. This this is the go-to gun, really. Most people would say this is probably the best gun in Black Ops 4, as far as pub stomping goes. Next up, though, Swap Mastercraft. I do love this Mastercraft. I do want to do more videos of this, and I definitely will, but I love the reflex, long bar, quick draw stock. Sometimes I take off the reflex. I'm pretty sure I did a video recently showcasing that I did take off the reflex, and I just had a sight. And if I don't have a sight, I normally put the RK7 pistol as my secondary. Another insane class setup, again, absolutely insane. If you have the Mastercraft though, you should use it. The Iron Sights are very good on it. And uh, let's move on to the next class setup, the Damon 3XB. I don't use this gun very often, because I'm going to be honest, everyone knows this is pretty much the cheesy weapon right now that everyone is abusing here, there, and everywhere. Some, most people will put Rapid Fire in it. I don't like the Rapid Fire, so I go with the Elo, Double High Cow, and the Hybrid Mags. But yeah, this is a very cheesy weapon, and I don't like using it that much, so I don't use it very often. Uh, next up, Peacekeeper, the one of the, one of the pay-to-win uh, guns of this game. It, it is pretty much pay-to-win. It is a better version of the Maddox, I'd say. 
and a pretty good rival to the KM57. I'd say they're the same, maybe. But the Peacekeeper, I'd say, is a bit, little bit more dominant. But ELO, Quick Draw, Rapid Fire, Stark. Insane Peacekeeper class up. Definitely should try out. If you do have this gun, I hope you have this gun by now. If not, you got to try and get those weapon bribes and hope for the best. Because Treyarch aren't going to help you out, unfortunately. They're not helping anyone out at the moment. But let's move on. The Cordite. Again, I don't use this class setup very often. When the SMG buff did come in, I actually used this quite a lot. Maybe I should do more videos of this and see if it's still pretty good, see if it holds up quite well. Because this is a pretty good gun. This is a pretty underrated gun. Not many people use this, except for with the belt fed operator mod. But I don't use it with that. I prefer the long bow, grip, and rapid fire. Again, gotta use the Mastercraft. I do love this pistol. I think it's a cool looking pistol. And plus, I just love the pistol itself. Without the Mastercraft, the pistol is great. The RK7. I could probably do a gameplay with just the pistol, so I might try and do that. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, next up, MX9. You'll see that I did a pretty insane video with this. I'm pretty sure I went 68-0 with this exact class setup where we used FMJ, Rapid Fire, and Hybrid Mags. If you want to see that video, check it out in the description below. I'll probably link it there. Also, I'm pretty sure it's one of the main videos on my channel, so check it out. Absolutely insane gameplay that was. Uh, next up, Switchblade. Gonna be honest, I do not use this class setup very often anymore. To be honest, I might even delete this class because this thing isn't very good anymore. I've tried using it and it just seems like a weaker version of a Spitfire. The Spitfire definitely seems better than this to me. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below because I can't... I don't know, I don't, I don't think this gun is as good as it used to be. When it was freshly buffed, just like the Damon was, this thing was a monster. But now, it's just not even the same thing anymore. It's not the same gun. But I do use Rapid Fire, Grip and Hybrid Mags. But again, I wouldn't really recommend this gun. It's not as good as it used to be. If you do have this gun, by the way. Uh, next up, M16. I will do a video showcasing this more, or oh, doing a gameplay talking about this class setup, because I believe this is the best class setup for this gun, which most of you will find pretty surprising, because it doesn't include high cow, and most people will tell you that you need high cow, but I find the double grip is way, way better than the double high cow. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but at the moment, I'm finding double grip stock and a reflex to be way better on the M16 than double high cow. So that's the, that's all my class ups. All 12 class ups. Can't get any more on the screen, unfortunately. But there you are. All my class ups. My stat check. We just passed level 500. 12 days played. 7 hours. We got the 5.5 EKI ratio. 9 nuclears. Pretty insane stuff. If you want to compare this as well, because I did do a video when I just uh, turned past Prestige Master. I had, I think I had way, way lower stats than this and way different class ups. If you want to check that out and just see how, like how far I've come and how much, how much I've improved, I'd say, as far as like me playing Black Ops 4 and also you can probably tell on the channel, my gameplays I feel personally are, have been a lot better than what they used to be. Before I used to be dropping like 50, 60 kills and I thought, oh, these were pretty good. And now I've been dropping 60 plus, 70 plus gameplays. So, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you like those insane class ups. In fact, I'll show you my score streaks as well before we end the video. But typically, I'm going to be honest with you guys, UAV, counter UAV, sniper's nest, strike team or gunship. Most of these, or maybe the fresher, but this is useless, this is useless, useless, pretty useless, very useless, like you don't want to, like, basically don't use anything that Zero can hack, that's one thing I'll say. Um, and yeah, if you want to go on like good streaks, UAV, counter UAV, or a sniper's nest, strike team, gunship, or a fresher. They're all pretty good score streaks. Uh, what else do I want to show you? Specialist. My uses, as you can see, we barely use Diax because we're a good guy. Battery, I've used a little bit. It's pretty good actually, but I don't use it that often because we all know the elephant in the room of what the best specialist in the game is right now because it still hasn't been nerfed. But Crash, use this a ton. I still use it from time to time, but again, we all know what I'm using currently. This, I've used it a little bit. Nomad, rarely ever. I think I've only used this when like, the game forcefully spawns me in with it. Again, Ruin, rarely used. Recon, one of the worst specialists in the game. Don't use it. Uh, Profit, pretty good actually, but I don't use it often. This, I do not like this. Seraph, also pretty decent maybe. I hate when teammates use this because they use that tap deploy thing and they always put it in the worst places. So if you're one of those teammates, please make sure you put the tap deploy in a decent spot. Spectra, Rarely ever use this. Even when it came out, I rarely use this. Talk. Did actually use this at the start because I w I, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't one of those guys who camped behind it. I used to use it to like, especially on slums, I'd lock down the lanes. You could probably find it on my, my really old gameplays. I used to like block lanes with the sh uh, shield and the barricade, uh, the razor wire. It was a pretty good setup. And zero. 
again, rarely use this because I'm not one of those people. But the elephant in the room is, this has only just been out for a month and a bit. And I've used it quite a bit, as you can tell. Quite a lot, because it's broken, guys, and it's the best specialist in the game. So if you aren't using it, then what are you doing? But yeah, there it is, guys. My class setup, stats, score streak, specialist, all that kind of video. Don't know really what to like call it, really, but kind of an update, really. So my level 500 update video, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like these class setups. Please do try them out. Those are my favorite and best class setups in Black Ops 4. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any better class setups, because I might try them out still. You know, I'm still looking to do videos with different classes and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe and notifications on, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.